It's your boy JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504 Jeezy from the Big Easy here to welcome y'all back to the showroom. And today, got a small, well, it's kind of a big review. And not a lot of people have been talking about it on YouTube, so I thought, eh, why not? Uh, everybody's kind of on their own little kick right now, so I said, why not let me do my own thing at the moment? But before I get into this shoe right here, I like it. Uh, hit that like button, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And we're on the road to 1K. And if you're not, follow me on any of my other social media platforms the links will be in the description below and welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to all my old subscribers and before i get into the box right here i just want to say i did pick up a few shoelaces from rope lace supply these are some replacement ropes because as we know the dr jordan one went live and i said uh on one of my previous posts i said i was going to actually take this shoe and do a lace swap with it so i'm probably going to do it with these white uh laces and i'll throw up a cut in of them with these and these are actually the metal flat laces so i'll open these up and uh but yeah as y'all can see these have the metal aglets on there like the premium shoe strings they usually have on some of the other Jordans as well. And these actually do have some weight on it. But yeah, I to, like I said, I have a little montage picture of those inside of the shoes. And like I said, I got a, got a gray pair as well and also a wax lace and a black aglet uh pair as well it's something to kind of devy up that jordan one man but forgot i did pick up something from liz too and i did pick up another new orleans pelican 5950 these are the association hats with the patch on the side as y'all can see right there nba uh national basketball association new orleans uh what it says New Orleans, Louisiana, 504 Basketball Club. And you can see that Pel that uh NBA basketball with the Pelicans, the Wallace Pelicans in there. Red, navy, and black and na uh and gold and the team logo on there as well. So NBA logo on the back and red new ever flag on the front. Gray underbrown, nothing much to really go over on that. Enough about that. I know y'all want to see what's in the box. I'm glad I got my cutter right here. Man. What the? All right. Put that right there. As y'all can see, we have the orange Nike Nike Sportswear box. And let's go ahead and get into the contents. As y'all can see right here, we have the Nike Air Max 1. White, speed, yellow, black. Style code is CW6031. Color code is 100. Retail on these was $140. Size 11, personal size. But... I know everybody has been reviewing the Nike Air Max 90 Galaxy colorway. I'm gonna hold off from that. Uh, you got plenty of people doing a review on that. You got uh, Keep Pushing Kicks, you got Bobby Sneaker World, you got, um, who else is doing it? Uh, I believe um, Kicknology is doing it. Uh, you got a couple of good YouTubers doing videos on it. So if you want to, I'll link their content in the description below on those shoes. And I'll show y'all what I picked up. Ooh. And I'm going to just say this. These are clean, bro. Oh, yeah, these are clean. 
these is nice. Man, check this out. All right. Bam! The Nike Air Max 1 in the Daisy colorway. And I'm going to be all the way real with y'all. This came out very nice, bro. And this is kind of like an out of nowhere release because like, I didn't see a lot of promotional uh, promotion on this one particularly. I seen more going for the Air Max 90 Galaxy. But these actually released around the same time those did. And uh, they also, there's also an Air Force One that released with it as well. But as y'all can see here, this is a very, very neutral colorway with a small hint of pop of color as well. Let's go ahead and get into the shoe. As y'all can see, we have a milky translucent bottom on here. As y'all can see on the bottom, we have that waffle style traction. Air, Nike Air on the bottom right here. And you also go into the midsole, you have a white midsole. And if you can look on the inside of that bubble, you have that ghost green color going on there as well. Uh, going toward the upper, you have almost a, this is actually a canvas material on here, which is done in more of a gray colorway. Uh, well, let me see what else color they say. They say white. This is more of a gray almost a fall color that they have on here but on the toe cap on the toe box we have it in canvas white and on those nike swooshes we have a corduroy material going on right here so y'all can take a look right there and as y'all can see how it's stitched as well we have on the back in that black canvas we have these daisy prints going right here and i'm gonna tell y'all the truth these actually go nice with those uh, floral sixes and uh, the Jordan ones that came out a while back uh, in kid sizes. Like I'm glad this door because that means my little girl and I could kind of have like a theme going on with these. But as y'all can see, we have the uh, daisy print going on in the back. We have a yellow Nike Air going on there as well. And on the toe, uh, you've seen this plenty of time where they usually put a swoosh right there on some Air Maxes. They put a daisy right there on the toe box as well uh you have ghost green laces which i probably i kind of want to switch them out and that's why i kind of got these wax laces right here which is basically the same lace that i could throw on in there that's in white but uh these didn't come with no extra laces that's why i was kind of kind of surprised on but i mean it is what it is but like i said you got the ghost green laces right there and on the toe, I mean on the tongue of the shoe, you have it in a university blue. And you have a daisy right there with Nike on there as well. Uh, it's almost like a cement gray to be honest with y'all. But I mean, this is like a daisy growing out of concrete. I don't know. I don't know what the, th the overall theme of this was. I might have to read up on it. And on the insole of the shoe. And they got this thing locked down. On the insole of the shoe, you have another daisy with the old school Nike font on there. And the insole usually has that Air Max waffle pattern on there as well. Uh, in my personal opinion, these are a very, very clean shoe for the Prodigy most part. And I could Prodigy definitely Prodigy. dress this up. Uh, unfortunately, the rain has been like prolonging a few of my reviews that I've been wanting to do outside so I had to give y'all that on feed of these at a later date but um for the most part this is actually a clean colorway I definitely like the small accents of green and yellow that they have on there like I said it's not doing a whole lot but it's speaking but it's definitely giving more of a uh, more of a flare by doing so little on the shoe like I said a little pop of green little yellow and that Devia black right there. Can't go wrong with it. But um, like I said, I know this shoe hasn't been on a whole lot of people's radars. Uh, they initially sold out and I think they restocked a few times, but they 
restocked on the Galaxy a few times too. So these were literally a Nike exclusive for the most part. These were Nike exclusives by comparison to the uh, to the Galaxy 90s. But uh, like I said, man, if you wanted to get these, they may probably still have more pairs of these. I'm not 100% sure. I've seen the Air Force One still sitting, but these most definitely, definitely, definitely are gonna get some use and some good looks uh, when I'm able to break these out. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these. Are y'all feeling these? And wait, this is not. This is kind of a. Actually, feels like a satin material on that. To be honest with y'all, y'all can take a look at that. It actually, feel more like satin than it does canvas, but. Uh, like I said, man, when I get a chance to actually like do a, I might do a lookbook video. I actually owe y'all two lookbook videos, one with the uh, Jordan one and one with these. But, but let me know in the comment section what y'all think below. And as always, I deeply appreciate y'all. And as always, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. I am JC Baby, and we are in the showroom, and I am out. You did.